Okay, one thing I like to do before I take off is to check my control linkages, make sure the surfaces are moving the right direction. So I say to myself, I move the stick to the right, and I say right up, left up, up, pull the stick back, down, left, and right. So notice if you want to make a right bank, the right aileron goes up. If you want to go up, the elevator goes up. Remember that as we look at how to adjust the Eagle Tree Guardian 2D, 3D. On the field, there's a simple way to do it. So I've got a rat's nest of wires here in my plane, but there are three pots for yaw, roll, and pitch. So if my plane is in a left bank, I've got it leaning against the table in a left bank, and I want to make sure that the Eagle True Guardian is correcting in the right direction. I just rotate this pot and I look at the control surface. Now I'm in a right bank, so I want the uh, correction to be right aileron, which means the aileron goes up. So in that direction, the aileron goes up, and that's the amount, the full amount. If I move the pot, that's the full amount of correction. If it goes down, that's the, wrong that's the wrong direction. If I move the pot all the way to one side, that's the maximum correction. I usually don't want that much, you know, maybe about half that much. So I just turn it down to about half of the control surface deflection. And it makes it easy to adjust later on if you decide that you've got too much control deflection. You just look at the control surface when it's in a bank like this, like a 45 degree bank. You just turn it down a little more or turn it up a little more, whatever you need. So the, if, the, if this wing is up, then the correction is up. If the plane is in a dive, then I obviously want it to correct by going up. So turning the pitch pot here. So that's correcting in the wrong direction because I want the tail is up so I want the correction of the elevator to be up. So that's maximum deflection, probably too much. So I'm going to turn that down to about half and it's very easy to adjust this later on if I want to make minute adjustments and know exactly how much it's going to correct I can do that. If you initially set up the rudder for coordinated turns, which means that the rudder turns the same direction as the plane is turning. All right, so I'm in a right bank. I want the rudder to correct to the right. So that's coordinated turn to, uh, to the right like it should be. That's correcting in the wrong direction. That's the total amount of throw that I have on the rudder. And then this plane, if I set the rudder too high, it will oscillate violently. So I just need a little bit of correction on the rudder. So that's a simple way to do it. All you have to do is have a small screwdriver, be able to reach these pots easily, tilt your plane, move the surfaces the amount that you want, and uh, makes the correction very simple.